Welcome to my channel today. It's me again, Rebecca Adjaman. As usual, I have content for you that I know you are going to be very happy with, and it's about the IELTS and OET changes that has been made by the Ireland Nursing and Maybe Review Board. And I know you are going to love it. So stay tuned. And also, thanks so so much for over 40 subscribers in a week. You have challenged me to bring you more content that I know is going to change your life for good. Share this video with your friends, your colleagues, your family, anybody that needs to know, any nurse or midwife that you know from all over the world need to hear this. And you may be a blessing to somebody you may never know. You may be the changing point in someone's destiny you may never know. So help share this video to friends, to loved ones, to colleagues, and also subscribe to this channel because I'll be bringing you updates from time to time. I'll be giving you information and tips you want to migrate from your country to another country that is super easy now because of the changes in a health status it's going to be very fast and super enjoyable so i challenge you to send this video to your friends your colleagues to everyone and also subscribe to this channel so that anytime i make future videos you'll be the first person to be able to see it cheers so guys the who declared some few days ago that the world needs over 6 million health workers. That means if you're a nurse, a midwife, a pediatric nurse, a specialist, a graduate nurse, a doctor, and whatever, this is the time if you want to migrate to another country, if you want to give your career a facelift, if you want to take your career to the next level, if you want to enhance your career, this is the time. You don't need to relent, you don't need to bargain for anything because this may be a turning point for your destiny. So I will mention the requirements and the documents that you will need. Then we'll move on to the language requirements. The first thing you need is of course a passport with which you'll be able to register and search for your exams and also to travel over to Ireland. The next thing you need is the test of competence. If you are from an English speaking country, then you do not need a test of competence. But if you are not from an English speaking country such as Africa, India, Asia, and other parts of the world, then you will need IELTS or OET. And there is some good news because the IELTS and OET bank score have been amended. And so I'll be talking about that pretty soon. Also, you should be a registered nurse from your home country with at least one year experience. And so you can be a registered general nurse, a nurse specialist in any of the fields, a mental nurse registered, a registered midwife, and so on and so forth. You need your license from your home country and your certificate to prove that indeed you are registered with your home country with at least a year of experience in your field of registration. The two tests that are approved to show that you are competent in communicating in English language to be able to register with the Ireland Nursing and Midwifery Board is the IELTS and the OET. I'd like to explain that further. IELTS is the International English Language Testing System and the OET is the Occupational English Test. So now let's talk about the change in the English language requirement. Initially, you, you needed to get a 6.5 in both reading and listening for IELTS and band 7 in writing and speaking. And then for OET, you needed a C plus for listening and reading and a B for writing and speaking. But currently, due to the COVID-19 and changes that is happening all over the world, the English language requirement has been amended. And so now, you need 6.5 in any of the models and band 7 in the other three for IELTS. And for the OET, you need a C plus in any of the models and band and a B in the other models. I'll be breaking it down in my description box. I'll also give you the link to the Ireland website so that I can read further to get clarifications and to answer any questions. So the next thing to do after you have met the English language requirement is to go to the Ireland Nursing and Midwifery Board and request for your application pack as an overseas nurse. And in this form, you see that you have some personal details to fill, an educational background details, a professional details, a personal details, and of course, a declaration that you have to sign. There's a portion that you have to take to your 
mother body in your home country that's the nmc in your home country to also sign to testify that indeed you are registered with them and after this you post the document to the postal address that is provided in your application pack note that the side of the nmc from your home country needs to be posted by them and so if you want to do it on your own if you want to post on your own you can also do it but try to post it in the post office that is closer to your nmc so that your application will be accepted also know that when you are posting your document to the nmc of ireland you need to attach copies of your passport your marriage certificate your certificate of practice or your licensing certificate from your mother country or from your home country two passport photos and at the back of the passport photos you need to sign and provide the reference number that was given to you in the application pack and if your name is not in english you interpret your name if you have done any change of name you attach your gazette officially to show that your name has been changed guys after you submitted a document you go to the waiting period. That is where you wait for the National Military Board of Ireland to decide whether you are eligible, they are satisfied with the application, and if they are satisfied, they give you what we call the decision letter. Hooray! Congratulations! You have just crossed a milestone with a decision letter and you are good to go. So with a decision letter, you attach your CV, and then you search for job. You go online, there are lots of recruitment agencies and recruiting bodies. You can apply for, you search for a job, you apply, and if you are qualified, you are interviewed, and you are picked for the job. And then you go over to Ireland to continue the phase of the journey. When you get to Ireland, you are going to write two tests to be able to fully be registered in the Ireland nursing and midwifery body to practice fully as a registered nurse in Ireland. And this test are two. We have the aptitude or adaptation test, that is one. And we have the second one being the OSC. The aptitude or adaptation test is theory. And you are going to just answer 150 questions in a span of three hours. It's not difficult. Once you learn, you put in effort, resources will be provided for you. And so you can read and pass first attempt. The second one is the practical or the OSC, where you are given some tasks to perform in several stations. And after you qualify, you are going to be given your full license. The details of all the tests will be provided in your decision letter. So that when you get over to Ireland, you can quickly start preparing and write your exam successfully. After all this, your license will be given to you and then you are a full-blown Ireland registered nurse or midwife. Congratulations to you. I wish you all the very best in your journey. Thanks guys for watching. I'm very happy to be your partner in success and your way to the top. I'm very happy to guide you in each and every step of your journey to Ireland and to other parts of the world. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up share subscribe for free as for no charge subscribe so that anytime i make future videos about nursing and other stuff you'll be the first person to be able to see it remember i told you in my previous videos i learned the hard way there was nobody to tell me to do this or that and so after i gained all this knowledge i want to share with society as a way of giving back so that one day you remember me and smile thanks for liking thanks for sharing Thanks for subscribing and thanks for giving my video a thumbs up. Meet you at the top. Bye.